On today's video, I want to talk about how I transitioned my career from graphic design to UX design. Okay, let's get into it. If you're new here, ciao, I'm Sara and I'm an Italian designer based in Brighton, UK. I'm currently working as a product designer at Crunch, but uh, for years I've been working as a graphic designer in uh, Italy and in the UK. This is the kind of video I wish I saw early on in my career. Actually, after my degree in graphic design, I didn't know that I could specialize in any other uh, design field uh, like uh, UX design without uh, having a master degree. Well, surprise, surprise, I didn't get a master degree and I hope that um, if you're watching this video as someone who really wants to transition to UX design, my story will help you realize that uh, you don't need a certificate, but you can teach yourself anything. If you're curious to hear the story of how I became a UX designer in less than three months, I made a whole uh, video about it, but for now, let's discuss these three points. So on today's video, we are gonna see the main differences between graphic design and UX design, what skills are easy to transfer and how to make the jump from graphic design to UX design. Let's start by talking about the definitions of graphic design and UX design. So what's important in UX design is the interaction between humans and digital products such as websites, apps and even coffee machines. It combines aspects of design, psychology, marketing and technology. While UX design is more focused on the functionality of a product, graphic design is more about creating visual content such as logos, infographics or corporate identities to communicate messages pleasantly. Graphic design is a specialized discipline that requires a set of technical skills such as typography or color theory to produce great visuals. In general, UX designers tend to work on large-scale projects that involve other team members such as developers and product managers. On the other hand, graphic designers usually work on smaller projects that don't always require more than one person. From my experience working at Crunch, I can tell you that my projects have a length of around six months they can involve anything from user research, usability testing, wireframing, visual design and so on. And my work doesn't end with a pixel perfect design solution. I actually assist developers during the build of a product, answering all their questions about components, functionalities, patterns and so on. And sometimes uh, we need to iterate my design solutions because uh, my product manager and I discover that uh, users have problems with my design solutions. So my job is basically to make sure that my designs are pleasing uh, the users as well as uh, anyone within the organization. If I were designing uh, something that looks pretty, but uh, it's hard uh, to build and uh, difficult to use, I would probably have some troubles at work. But there was a time from 2014 to 2018 where my job was to make things look pretty. Actually, as a graphic designer, my day-to-day -day tasks involved in creating graphics for social media, print communications, infographics and occasional logo designs. I wasn't involved in uh, any sort of important meetings and I didn't have any control over decision making. For example, if I thought that uh, creating this graphic uh, was a bad idea, I couldn't express my concerns with the team. I still love uh, graphic design, but uh, as I progressed in my career, I realized that um, I wanted to have more control over my decision making and it's hard when nobody trusts your knowledge of what's best to do. So I would like to hear from you if you had troubles expressing your ideas at work and if you've found a way to overcome it without having to move away from graphic design. So we've just seen that while UX design is user-focused and multidisciplinary, 
graphic design is pixel focused and more specialized but we do have more things in common than you probably think if you heard about uh, massimo vignelli you probably know his quote if you can design one thing you can design everything i love this quote i think it's true Fashion designers, interior designers, motion designers, web designers, their final product is different, right? But they do follow the same process from understanding the problem, working with their users, collecting ideas, sketching on paper, and eventually designing a pixel perfect solution. They are also trained to embrace any kind of positive or negative feedback, iterate their ideas, or do things differently the next time. So we can say that uh, design thinking, um, emotional design and prototyping are what all designers have in common. And if you're thinking to transition from graphic design to UX, uh, you shouldn't have uh, big problems taking the leap. As I mentioned before, the real key for graphic designers is to shift from being uh, pixel focused to user focused and consider the usability of a product before its aesthetic. But how to build UX design skills? Well, there are many ways you can do it. You can either apply for a UX design role within your organization or ask your manager to help you develop UX design skills within your role. But if you can't do it, you can always start freelancing on the side while keeping your daily job and you can design uh, websites or apps uh, for clients, uh, friends or family members. The main goal for you is to start uh, building a portfolio that is focused primarily on uh, UX. If you're curious to hear the story of how I landed my first uh, UX design uh, role, I made a whole video about it and you can find the link uh, in the description below. You can also find a mentor who can help you build a strong portfolio and prepare yourself for a job interview. If you're looking for a mentor in UX, uh, then you're in the right place. I'm currently doing uh, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions on Super Peer to help people uh, taking the leap uh, to UX design. So if you're ready for it, uh, you can find the link in the description below. I really hope this video helped you understand that uh, your degree or background uh, don't define who you are as a designer and all design skills are easily transferable. If you think this video was helpful, then share it with your friend, uh, leave a like and subscribe uh, to this channel for more. Thanks for watching and uh, till the next one, ciao!